Who do you think you are? By what right do you enter the home of our queen? I'm the emissary of the Congregation of Merchants. I've come to meet your leader. Come now, Arwant. You are not a watchdog. Where is my mother? Siora, I didn't see you. You have come too late. Your mother has gone to wage a war. They left for Didekid Nadageis only a few hours ago. Oh, no. We need to catch up with them and avoid the shedding of blood. Please, haste. Very well, then. Let's be off. In order to go towards the Degid Nadagis, we must follow the path leading toward the heights into the forest. Wait. We should go left here. It's a more difficult path, but it's much shorter. Look at the tracks. They chose to take the path on the right, it would seem. Before a battle, it makes sense that they wanted to avoid a path with more danger. If it is dangerous, let's not risk braving it when time is against us. We risk meeting a great many beasts. But if we follow the warriors, we risk catching up with them too late to sway them. Thanks for listening to me. I fear my mother may have already thrown herself into the battle. You are too late, Siora. Mother has fallen, and we are defeated. No, no, no. This is not fair. I am so sorry. Who is this man? He resembles one of us, but is dressed like a Renaigze. I am the ambassador of the Congregation of Merchants. I, I'm sorry for your loss. The Congregation? And what side are you on in this war? Those that massacre our people. Esselt, calm down. You know that mother sent me to seek out allies. You show up when the fight was nearly over. Was this part of your plan? You know that these monsters are taking our own. They must make honorable amends. We did our best to come as fast as we could. And I fought by your side. Please, please take the time to at least hear me out. There has already been enough death and you are wounded. This is not the time for vengeance. You may be right. 
Waiting for my vengeance will make it taste all the sweeter. I feel weak. Might I ask you to watch over our own Siora? I must return to the village. Go on ahead. We will tend to the wounded. Won't we now? Yes. We will do everything we can. And find my mother. Or her body, if... If she is indeed dead. Look at this massacre. How? Find her banner. It bears the symbol of our clan. Oh, these ruins are very strange. By what name did you call this place again? The Dida Keaton Nadai Gaze. There was once a battle in the past. A great victory for our clans. Hmm, strange indeed. These walls are completely foreign to the styles of your own dwellings. Does this name that you gave the ruins mean anything in particular? Yes. It means ruins of the first guardian. I would like to dig around a little on the site. We might be able to unearth clues as to who actually built them. This way, there is a survivor. Let's heal him. Over there. I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Over there. I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. You help me. I still you dare to breathe. How can you hope that I am here to save you? No, I. What have you done with my mother? Pity, I, I, I beg of you. I, I don't want to die. Then answer! Siora. yourself you're acting like a beast a beast has far more majesty than these monsters who have traded their souls they have taken her the queen they took her then she must still be alive they would not have bothered to carry away a corpse she would have chosen death before capture they must have wanted her alive. We must find her. If your mother is in the hands of Bridge, they'd have taken her to the closest camp. Promise me that we will do everything we can to bring her back. Over there, I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Another warrior who survived. 
I do not think that we will find any more of them now. We healed them all, thanks to you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Look, there are some images on these walls. Let's get closer. This is the first time I've seen these drawings so closely. You've never come here. You certainly seem to know the place. This site is sacred and taboo. Everyone knows where it is, but no one ever comes here. All these colors are so beautiful. I never would have imagined that they could create something so delicate. Who are you talking about? Of those who built these lodgings. That my ancestors vanquished in a past war. You know who they were? I only know the legend. The legend of Dida Kid and Nadaige. I'm listening. It is said our people lived peacefully until the men appeared from the sea, intent on making our lands their own. They dug great caverns into the earth, ripped down our forests, destroying everything in their wake. They were evil. The warriors killed so many people that even their own people came to fear them. Here, they built a terrible city that spewed out clouds of cinder and death. Our kings and queens were desperate. They went to the heart of our island, and the island heard them. From the woods appeared the first guardian. He was taller than a city, and with each step it smashed a lodging. It was a guardian of Rat, and the city could not resist him. Since then, the earth answers our call for magic, and in exchange, we become all Manawi, in keeping with the pacts our kings and queens once made. Oh, it is a very sad and terrible legend. I wonder who these people from the sea could have been. Oh, people from the continent, no doubt. Our Malachor might well be the cursed result of that war from another age. We have nothing more, nor anyone else to find here. I must report all we've learned to Constantine. On all Manawi. My mother is still held in this outpost near Vagigado. I must do everything I can to free her from the lion's claws. So will you accompany me? We will do everything we can to free her. Do not worry. Let's go. Things are about to get dicey. Things are about to get dicey. 
Halt! Who goes there? De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. But this savage, on the other hand... Am I the one you call a savage, Renaigse? This young lady is the princess of her people, and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I'd feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement. Well, who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. A liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You! You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! We didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body on al -Manawi. Please. I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to. I'm sorry, pretty flower. I really am. The infirmary must be the building on the right, near the camp entrance. Let's go. Who are you? Are you looking for a doctor? I am the legate of the congregation, and this is Siora, the daughter of the queen whose remains you're keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. Hello. Do you need a doctor? Do you have many wounded? Yes, too many. And many will die. We don't have enough supplies to heal them all. I'm sorry, Doctor. Anything else? Good luck, Doctor. Matt! No! I should give you some privacy while you're mourning. We won't be far. And if our tear too, my dear. Men sit a den on mil frichtemen. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the earth. So. Let's go back to see him and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, 
And I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind? You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. Your Excellency, what do you want? We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen, bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants her delivered to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel if someone prevented you from giving them a proper burial? If you knew that their corpses were going to be given to some scholars to be dissected, wouldn't you want to have them back? The way I feel when it comes to my men does not concern you. I cannot give her back to you. End of discussion. Captain, I insist. Let us take this body with us. I have orders, Your Excellency. I've already told you. It is my mother we are talking about. My mother, whom you let die by dragging her all the way here. Give her back to me, or I swear that I will never leave you in peace. This isn't the right way to approach this, Siora. Come. This man is as cold as stone. I'm afraid we have no choice but to pressure him now, like the doctor told us. We will have to be discreet if we want to find these documents without getting caught. Here's a document that could be useful. They're meeting with the buyers. Then we should go there. He won't be able to deny it if we catch him red-handed. There's a risk that he will react violently, but we have no other choice. Let's go then. I know this place. It is further down the road, near a large tree. Here we are. This is the tree that was mentioned. Let's hide while we wait for them to arrive. Well, Captain, you have some peculiar friends for a man who obeys the Alliance. You? What are you doing here? We stumbled upon some strange documents and wanted to see for ourselves if there was any truth to them. Sorry, my friends. If you want our shipment, then we need to get rid of this nosy legate. Captain, you are making a grave mistake. All we want is to negotiate. I want the body of my mother. thought that you would dare to attack allies of the congregation <laughs> it seems to me that you were the one who attacked how did you put it this nosy legate had you simply listened to us captain this fight would not have taken place all we wanted was for you to respectfully deliver the body of the queen to her village and will you stay silent about what you saw we're neutral trading amongst yourselves does not concern us in that case very well I'll return to the outpost and ensure it's done. Now I would like for us to return to my village. 
I am eager to reunite with my sister. In that case, let's return to Vedrais. I know, Siora. And you watched here say, some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaigze legend, thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me either. I do not like this, Iseld. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange, they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village.